The perfect couple. One person has cold hands, the other one has warm hands. Together they maintain the ideal temperature for hand holding. I like this. Relationship goals. Thermodynamic equilibrium. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's talk about albedo. Albedo is defined in your data booklet as the total scattered power over the total incident power. Now, I think there's a nicer version, like I like to just think of it as, you know, okay, what came in, I call that, you know, P, like the power that went in, and the scattered power is like P out, so it's the power out. So it's not pout and pin, but it's P out over P in. I think this is a more useful, you know, way to do it. So, for example, if we consider the Earth with some clouds and things like that, well, then the amount of um, radiation then coming in, for example, we can call this right here sort of in here, going like this. This could be in. That means there must be something that's being, you know, scattered out, like this right here. So something like that. So that would be, you know, out. Okay, so we have basically out divided by in. And so a really important piece then is, okay, that means if an albedo is 1, what does that mean? That means the stuff coming out is exactly equal to what came in. That means it's a perfect reflector. That means it's white. It's like maybe it's made of ice, for example. Uh, that would be something very close to albedo of 1. By contrast, uh, something with an albedo of 0, for example, is something that absorbs perfectly. So, for example, the light that comes in, it just all gets absorbed, you know, and nothing gets bounced back out again. So that means then it must be, you know, very, very black or very dark. So one example using albedo will be uh, Saturn's moon called Enceladus. That has an albedo that's super, super high. It's around 0 0.99. Remember what that means? That means that it's almost perfectly reflective. Well, it turns out, um, you know, before they got to take this picture and see that it was made of ice, astronomers were able to kind of guess that it probably was made of ice. The fact that it had such a high albedo told them, hey, uh, there must be something that's cleaning up the dust because there's lots of dust in our solar system. And that's something that, you know, goes for example, as, as Enceladus goes through our uh, solar system, there's plenty of dust there that should hit it. It should make the surface kind of dirty. In other words, it shouldn't be such a high albedo. So the fact that it was so reflective, the fact that it's, you know, basically uh, so shiny, told them, oh, it's probably made of ice. So they figured it probably was. And then, of course, once they got to take pictures, like, yep, it was. By the way, albedo can help us out with there's like a crazy uh, possible solution for global warming. I think it could actually work. If you painted everything white on Earth, so everything, you know, the roofs, uh, roads, things like that, what would that do? Well, that would make the Earth more reflective. And that means then, hey, that should increase the albedo of the Earth. Of course, it won't get us to 0.99, but it'll get us, you know, higher. And anything that's higher like that should, in theory, lower the temperature. So something that actually could work if you just painted everything white. It sounds crazy, but hey, the physics of it, like, yeah, it could probably work. Good luck finding the paint to do this, but there we go.